Hello everyone, it's Tana and welcome back to my channel. And I apologize for my long absence. So today's video is from the latest release. We have Meaningful Meerkat stamp set. And then we have I Really Dig You. And I also purchased the I Really Dig You dies. You guys know I don't do dyes often, but there's a lot of little stuff in there. There are two slimline stencils in this release. We have torn paper. And beam of light. Now I don't use those in today's video, but I will use them in the next video. So I was sick. I have a swollen leg from cellulitis. I was in the hospital. I'm still recuperating. I have a physical therapist that comes to the house twice a week. And it's taken me a while to get back into the swing of things, especially since I stand at my desk to craft, not sit. Uh, not that my desk has enough room behind it to sit at anyway, and I did try it. It was extremely uncomfortable. We also have shaker acetate sheets now these already have adhesive on them and they have a protective film over the front you will also see those in the next video not today's video so here i took some arches cold press 140 pound watercolor paper and i'm going to run my powder tool over that and i'm going to use my versafine ink nocturne versafine claire nocturne ink and I'm going to emboss these with clear embossing powder. This little tiny flower, which I believe is in the I Really Dig You stamp set. It is. So once we have our whole panel covered, see my little hands there? Aren't they cute? While you guys are watching this, I'll read some of these sentiments off here. I also colored a bunch of images beforehand. So we're going to alternate and work on both cards at the same time today. I took a circle die from my infinity dies and I'm lightly tracing that so I have a kind of like a uh, wreath shape to use. And it's not going to be your traditional wreath as you'll see here in a second. And I did make a few masks as well. Um, two flower masks and a few of the garden tools. I made masks for those as well so that we could overlap and whatnot. So for the Meaningful Meerkat we have For You From Me with Sympathy and Love Just Because and Get Well Wishes Excuse me, I'm sick also I have a very huge head cold right now. I think Jackson got me sick. And then the I Really Dig You stamp set has merely popping up to say, I really dig you. I miss you. Thank you for helping me grow. A happy hello. So quite a few sentiments in those two stamp sets. And they're pretty cute ones at that. I love the little plants. I believe we are going to use those in this video. Yes, we are. There is my completed wreath. And here, magic of editing. It's all colored in. Now we're going to pull out the Tim Holtz Distress Watercolor Pencils. And we're going to color our embossed background. So I do put every color of watercolor pencil that I used up on the screen for you guys. I tried to do two colors in each flower to do some shading. Um, darker one in towards the center of the flower, lighter one towards the outside of the petals. And I tried to blend them together as well. So, 
I believe on my channel I told everybody what briefly gave a description of what happened to me. I basically didn't know I had cellulitis. I had an infection. Uh, t it was septic and I was in shock and I went to the ER. I was very confused. I had a lot of confusing days. Stuff I was saying wasn't making sense. Turns out I had strep A. Then the hospital gave me the wrong medications. Set my uh, healing back a few days there and put me back into confusion. Uh, I was in the hospital for two weeks. When I came home, Dan physically had to carry me into the house. I was not strong enough to get in the house on my own. And I lost a lot of weight. They say for every one day you spend in a hospital bed, you lose three days of muscle. So, yeah, still building that back up. Here is our completed background. And then I went ahead and took some of those same colors and added some flecks of each color onto my background. I don't know if I overdid it or not. You guys can let me know in the comments what you think. I don't think I did. I think it turned out just right. Maybe some of the colors overpowered others, but I don't think I overdid it. And then I took a strip of vellum, and it's one and a half inches wide. And I made it longer than the card panel so that I could make sure it was even with the grid mat on my glass mat. And then fold the ends over towards the back of the panel. And see, you can see up in the corner there, I took my plants that I colored. They're going to be glued across there. Now I'm stamping out my sentiments. I wasn't sure at this point which one I wanted to go with. I believe I use a happy hello. Now I'm going to glue that vellum onto the back of the card panel. And once that's dry, we're going to use our Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive, which I finally found and bought some. I had to buy the bigger bottle though. Little bottle still sold out. Put that on my gray card base. And now after that's dried and adhered, we're going to add our plants. Now they're each popped up on foam tape. And I tried to space them out as evenly as I could. So that's it for that first card. After I adhere the sentiment, which is just glued down straight underneath that vellum strip. Now for the second card, the wreath card. I had colored that bucket of daffodils with a bright red bow. So I wanted to use bright red as the frame, the matte frame for the card panel. And I ended up having to cut the wreath out, fussy cut the wreath out, because I fell asleep with a black marker in my hand and pretty much screwed up the entire front of that panel. So, yeah. I pulled a Tana. I told you guys I'm exhausted. I'm still trying to build myself back up. So there we have our white panel on a red mat. And then I'm going to adhere that with some Alta New foam tape onto the front of a white A2 size card. And then we will glue our fussy cut wreath onto the front. Front centered but towards the top. Centered left to right, I mean. Then we'll put our bucket of daffodils in the center of the wreath. And the little leaves that I lost when I was fussy cutting. I'll glue those back into the place where they're supposed to be. And then I'll use the other sentiment on this card. 
but we're going to put a red frame around this as well. Now I cut all the red off of the end there because when it hangs off the white on the right side of the card panel, it will look like it already has red along that side. So you'll see what I mean in a second. See that? Perfect. Then I'm going to take some of these white enamel dots and I colored them yellow. I'll place those in a triangle of three. And that's it for the second card, guys. Stay tuned for the second video this month I have for you guys. There will be three cards. We only make two in the video. But we're going to make use of those shaker acetate, acetate sheets. And we're going to have some fun. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye for now.